I command uh, the 1st Signal Brigade and the Signal Brigade we provide the information services to a deployed headquarters. Uh, specifically for my brigade we have about 1500 um, soldiers under command. You can't doubt that the military environment is a very male orientated environment. I don't think it's more difficult for me necessarily than a man. You know if I spoke to some of my friends, male and female, some people find it harder than others but I think that's just a reflection of society and actually I don't necessarily think it's a reflection of the military. So I've come across people that will judge me for uh, my gender on first impressions. Do I feel that in the long term when I've worked with and for people that that has remained to be an issue? Absolutely not. Good. Being mum, I think, is a challenge in itself. Being a mum and being uh, in a senior appointment, uh, you know, double the trouble. Uh, but uh, And there's some days that I think I'm not quite sure that I'm managing to hold it up together and there's other days that I look at the boys and I think uh, I'm setting a good role model to them, that's good. Yes! They think they've got a pretty cool mum being, in, being a soldier, they like having a dad that's a tree surgeon. Uh, but it's the challenge, I think, I'm very fortunate, I have an extremely supportive family. And you know in the appointments that I've had, the people that I've worked with and I've worked for have always been immensely supportive too of making it work. Uh, but I wouldn't say for a minute that it's easy. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, during Christmas function in 2010. Oh, and we had a brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. It was a really good do. Yeah. I don't think it'll happen in my time frame, so I'm not sure I'll be the Chief of the General Staff. Uh, do I think it will? I think we've got a long way to go in some of our force structures, and this is part of what um, is being looked at with um, the role of women in combat. Uh, so, so it really would have to be that we have all roles opened up to women for that to be feasibly possible. Uh, when that happens, not if that happens, when, and I'm not saying it'll happen in 2017, but when it happens, the Chief of the General Staff could be a woman. Why would it not be? Just as capable, delivering operational effect, in an operational and theatre, just like a male contemporary, not relevant.